Y'all gonna enjoy this right here. I tried to tell y'all that Sheila Jackson Lee, she's running for mayor of Houston. I think she's behind in the polls right now. I hope she don't. I'm not saying the other guy's so conservative because he's not. He's a liberal too. But he's better than Sheila Jackson Lee. But I have an audio of a former slave known as uh, Sheila Must I Die Jackson. Miss Jackson, if you're nasty. And on this particular video, you're going to see uh, Sheila Jackson Lee raw, cussing out her staff. I told you we was going to finally get on tape. One of these staff members recorded her. Somebody by the name of Jerome did something. She said, what did you, you do that, that piece of paperwork I gave you about scheduling me? He said, I gave it to Jerome. But I'm going I'm to give him a gun. She said, I want you to do a God D thing. Stupid mother effer. You ain't got an effing brain. She just goes off. She goes off. Sheila Musk, you got to hear this. Man, I was cracking up. Now, she uses profanity, but she's a former slave, so she's saying it's okay. They stupid. You ain't got a brain in your effing head, she said. This is how she talked to her staff. She's real, real professional. <laughs> you got to take a listen to this right here. Miss Sheila Jackson Lee in raw form. You go, girl. Paper from that woman uh, regarding uh, something that was over at Duncan Tell. Where is it? What, what date was it? All from Jerome took it upstairs. I have to call him. He took it up when I switched out the picture. I'll call him. I, I don't want you to do a goddamn thing. I want you to have a fucking brain. I want you to have read it. I want you to say, Congresswoman, it was such and such date. That's what I want. That's the kind of stamp that I want to have. So some stupid other motherfucker did it. Did it ever be uh, fed up? I am fed up. Fed up. And, you, and, and I don't have the information. Nobody sent me the information. I need to uh, ensure my um, schedule. And, uh, you know, if, if Boo Boo did it, shit ass did it, fuck face did it. Can ever be uh, fed up? I am fed up. Fed up. And nobody knows a goddamn thing in my office. Okay? Nothing. I gave it to you. Your job was to get it on the calendar, imprint it in your brain, or send me the information back saying, Congresswoman, I made sure that the Ovi Duncan Tell event that you gave me uh, for so-and-so date at 7 is on the fucking calendar. Not to quote Jerome Hassan. Okay? So when I called Jerome, he only me sit up there like a fat-ass, stupid idiot talking about uh, what the fuck he doesn't know. I'm fed up? I am fed up. Fed up! Okay? Both of y'all are fuck up a fucking F. It's the worst shit that I could have ever had put together. Two goddamn big ass children. Fucking idiots. Serve no goddamn purpose. Up and fed up with the babbling that we are hearing from people on the other side. Ain't managing nobody, nobody's respecting them, nobody gives a shit about what you're doing. And you ain't doing shit. And this is an example of it. I gave it to you This is not child work. Jackson says she's a fed up, damn it. She's fed up with this mother effers. I mean, she went Samuel Jackson on you. It's a Miss Jackson if you're nasty. Do, 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 do. Control like Janet Jackson she went, boy. I told you that girl can cuss, man. But before we continue, I got to give a shout out. To a couple of people who hit us up on Cash App. My man, Richard. Oh, 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 Richard. <laughs> like, oh, 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 O'Reilly. Oh, My man, Richard O, hit us up on our Cash App. I appreciate you, my brother, Richard. Also, I've been getting it wrong. I finally figured out what you were saying. Y-R-M-A. Her name is Irma. If I clicked on me, someone's clicked on me. I said, I got to get this right. Irma hit us up on Cash App. I think she's saying that the government misspelled her name and called her Y-R-M-A. But it's Irma. Thank you, Irma. I finally got it right. I'll get it right if I just keep talking it through. Now I knew what you was talking about. Thank you, Irma, for that support. Now, we got to get back to Sheila Mustadar Jackson. Miss Jackson, if you're nasty. Now, Miss Jackson is upset because she's dealing with incompetent mother efforts. You ain't, don't do a, a god D thing she sees. You ain't got an effing brain in your head. Can that girl cuss or what? 
Now this is a this is the same Sheila Jackson Lee. Remember she was when COVID was going on, she was saying that COVID, if they would have had some reparations, uh, it was a Harvard study. And this is a Harvard study. If you had gave these the Negroes uh, reparations, it would have prevented the COVID. See what the COVID would have said, like, boom! What did you, did you get reparations? You said, yes, I did. COVID said, I can't mess with you. You got reparations up in this camp because COVID is scared of the money. Show me the money. I want you to listen to Miss Jackson. First of all, I want you to listen to her saying, talking about reparations. And then we're going to go back to Must I Die Jackson getting loose on his staff because they fools need to get cussed out. I think she was trying to do a rap video. <laughs> Sheila Jackson he was trying to do a rap video or something. We're going to play both of them back to back. Her talking about reparations. And then coming out like straight out of Houston, mother effer named Sheila in the 18th district up in this camp. But I asked somebody, she said, when I'm called on, I got a salt off, squeeze a trigger, and bodies are hauled off. You too, staff, if you F with me, the police are going to have to come and get me off your A. That's how I'm going out. For the punk you monk who's showing out. Said niggas want to mumble. They want to grumble. Mix them in, cook them in a pot like gumbo. Jackson going off on a mother like that. COVID hit us very desperately. Interestingly, a recent peer-reviewed study from Harvard Medical School. Harvard Medical School suggests that reparations for African Americans could have cut COVID-19 transmission and infection rates both among blacks and the population at large. Reparations are curative. They're not punishment. Just a piece of paper from that woman uh, regarding uh, something that was owed by Duncan Tell. Where is it? What, what date was it? All from yesterday. Jerome took it upstairs. I have to call him. He took it up when I switched out the pictures. I'll call him. I don't want you to do a goddamn thing. I want you to have a fucking brain. I want you to have read it. I want you to say, Congresswoman, it was such and such date. That's what I want. That's the kind of stamp that I want to have. So some stupid other motherfucker did it. You, and, and I don't have the information. Nobody sent me the information. I need to uh, ensure my um, schedule. And, uh, you know, if, if Google did it, shit ass did it, fuckface did it, then nobody knows a goddamn thing in my office. Okay? Nothing. I gave it to you. Your job was to get it on the calendar, imprint it in your brain, or send me the information back saying, Congresswoman, I made sure that the old guy Duncan Tell event that you gave me uh, for so-and-so date at 7 is on the fucking calendar. Not to, oh, Jerome has it. Okay? So when I called Jerome, he only me sitting up there like a fat-ass, stupid idiot talking about uh, what the fuck he doesn't know. Okay? Both of y'all are fuck up a fucking F. It's the worst shit that I could ever have put together. Two goddamn big ass children. Fucking idiots. Serve no goddamn purpose. Ain't managing nobody. Nobody's respecting them. Nobody gives a shit about what you're doing. And you ain't doing shit. And this is an example of it. I gave it to Jerome. This is not child work. Okay? Go, Sheila! Go, Sheila! Go, Sheila! Go, Sheila! Go Sheila, yeah. go Miss Jackson. Drop your glasses. Spread your face screwed up. That's you it, Sheila. Which one? Pick one. You see Sheila Jackson? I thought she was gonna bust that rap out with him. You a mother effer, you stupid. That's how Jackson talks when she's not trying to pretend. I tried to tell everybody, catch some of these so-called professionals one when they off the air. Mmm. That girl was raw. Stupid mother, you ain't got an effing brain in your head. That girl, Sheila Jackson Lee, is cussing people out. Then she get on the floor and says, uh, this is cumulative damage. You get real proper then. Looking for reparations. Sheila Jackson. I've been telling people for years. I've already heard all these kind of stories. But Sheila Jackson, I'm from H-Town. Sheila Jackson will cuss you out. Tell you that right now. In the church, she'll cuss you out. She talking about, man. Friend of mine told me that they had a funeral for somebody at, Sheila, at, 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 one, at the church he went to. He was at the door. Some urchin was at the door, and Sheila Jackson Lee came in, and she was saying, they need to hurry up because I got some place I need to be. The man was dead. Miss Jackson will get that profanity cranking up in this camp. 
Come on, Miss Jackson, hit that tune. On this one, classic, red from blind, yeah. Miss Jackson. Classic.